All right, welcome back to another tutorial today. This today's tutorial is gonna be all about hair change. I'm gonna teach you how to change the hair of a color of a model or just changing color in general in, in an Affinity Photo. So let's get right into it. Let's open up the app. Today we're gonna to be working on this picture right here. Now, as you can see, um, I have a, this nice, lovely picture, this nice portrait I did a while back. Uh, the thing was Ice Queen, so this is the reason why, but I needed to change the hair color. I needed to go a little bit more wider because of the thing was Ice Queen. So this, today, this is what I'm gonna show you how to do. I'm gonna teach you how to go from this to this. It's pretty much what I'm gonna teach you how to do today. So let's get right into it right now. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to come over to the selection panel and you want to hit smart selection. And pretty much what you want to do from here is just go ahead and select the whole entire hair. Doing a rough job at this right now, but get my drift here. Let's go back and subtract, get away from the stuff on the face. So you just want to pretty much get a good, good reputation of the hair. All right, after that, what you want to come down now is hit the refine selection tool. All right, now as you can see, this red box comes around. As you can see, uh, it's probably a little bit much because I'm doing another layer that I already had because I already went through this process. But after you go through this, you get a red box and you go through the thing, and then you want to come down here and you want to select new layer with mask. Now, I'm not going to do this because I already have it selected, but you want to hit new layer with mask, you want to come down to apply. Now, after you do that, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. Now, after you do that, it's gonna bring up this right here on, on your layers panel. You're gonna come here with the pixel, and then you come up, it's gonna automatically make a mask for you. So, therefore, so therefore, you already got this pixel layer with the mask, so you can come here and do, really do some really good deep changes into it. Now, in order to go ahead and change the color, which is what I wanna show you today, is it, it's pretty quite simple, actually. Once again, like I said, I already got most of my, suggest my adjustments already in here, preoccupied, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you how to get this done. So once you once you get your mask and your mask comes in just like this with your mask and your pixel layer, now you wanna come over here and start, you know, go to the adjustment layer, and then you wanna grab whatever tool you need to grab. Uh, usually I'm gonna use the color balance is, what, is one of the tools I'm gonna use. And then I'm going to use the selection color and then I'm also going to use come all the way back up I'm also going to use black and white because I really need to get the hair as white as possible so once you have all your your adjustment adjustment that you're going to use for the picture you can swipe all of them just like so you can grab them and you want to put it under under the mask like this so therefore this only applied to this to the hair changes that we're going to do uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and delete those because i already had those done down here like i said so once once you start getting into that then you just go around and pretty much you just play with the color i'm gonna cut out the white and cut out the black and then you just pretty much get to go around and play with the color as you can see i'm gonna go with color balance uh, i went ahead and went to the mid mid tones on this one uh because that's just you know, that's what I really need to do because I want to get some bluish at the same time. I want to make the hair look rich. So that's the reason why I'm going to the mid-tones and, I, and I'll, I'll just add some cyan to it. Like I said, you come here and change with any color you want to change it to. But as far as this picture, the thing, was, the thing that I was going for was Ice Queen. So I really need to get it as much as possible as a, as a icy white, bluish type color, but not so white. Um, so I came in here and just played with the, the cyan colors. And I uh, came in here with the with the blue and the yellows, add some more blue to it. Um, I also collect hit on the preserved luminance. So that was my mid tones. I really didn't mess with my highlights that much. Well, it looks like I did probably a little bit, but not so much. Like I said, you just gotta go in here and really just play with the colors into whatever color you feel like you wanna do. Okay, but this is what I'm gonna go with. And then I don't really don't think I did anything in the shadows. All right, now far as color selection, same thing here. You gotta just play with it until you get what you what you need. Um, I went down here and I played within the whites. As you can see right here, I uh, went ahead and subtract some of the yellow out of the hair uh, and took some of the black out of the hair, which kind of gave me a little bit more 
of that whitish look and then I also went down to the neutrals and played with my neutrals a little bit too as you can see <clears throat> it's really big time but I already had it set to where I need to set to but like I said you can really go extreme with it you know just like I said it's just a, it's a really powerful technique that I'm showing you so uh, with that being said let me go back down to where I need to have it back out so once once I had all this and this of course I'm playing with my blacks um, I didn't want to get too black like that. That's the reason why I'm using the black and white adjustment because I didn't want to get too, too black like that because I could have easily done that. But, you know, I just really wanted to, I needed some of that blue to stay in there because it's really going to help me rich that out. All right. So anyway, so then we're going to go to the black and white. Once again, I put black and white on. The only thing I really did here was just pretty much mess with the, the opacitor, um, the opacity, sorry. I just mess with the opacity how much black and white I want out of it uh, really um, just a just a tad bit you don't gotta go too much it's just just a tad bit add just a tad bit now now here's the big kicker right here's what's really gonna make it the hair look look really really sensual and look really really realistic now after you get through every single adjustment you want to come up here and click the top top of the word top of the layer with everything in it you want to click that hit the three prongs at the top of it and you want to change your blending modes and this is what's going to make your hair look realistic and not so fake when you change to your blending mode and the blending mode that you want to use the blending mode that i always use is always going to be color i use color because it just blends so well when you use color and it makes the hair look more natural instead of instead of you know uh like almost like a fakish type thing you can really tell the difference of what it just did from the, you know from there to you know here's normal mode and it just looks just kind of it looks you know looks it looks fake it looks processed but then you take it and you go to the color mode now it just blends in like the detail comes with the hair comes back and everything and everything of that nature so this is a really powerful technique to really kind of do anything with you can use it doing you know your eye color changing changing any type of color that you want to change on this photo this is a real powerful technique and you really want to do it through you know selecting if you want to select change a, a certain color you want to really do it through the process i just showed you like selecting it going and selecting it making a layer making a new layer mask and just go ahead and add your all your adjustments to, from there uh but yeah this is pretty much the end of the tutorial right here so like i said we went from let's see here this is the uh, original picture um you can tell that's the original picture and this is you know the picture we just done with the hair color um yeah this was a little bit more icer this is a little more whiter i liked it like that at the time but this got a little bit more bluish onto it which i also like at the time too but once again if i really didn't want that much blue in it that's the reason why you have this black and white because then i can really just come in here and just take more of that black and white out and make it more whiter you know as you can tell right now so so at the end of the day, I really hope that you like the tutorial. I hope you go out and use this tutorial in, in your photography. And at the same time, um, I just really hope you enjoy this. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the comment. Leave a comment below. Hit the like button. Go ahead and share this video. Um, and go ahead and be and comment on what you want to see for the next tutorial video. Um, I'm going to be bringing a little bit more, a little bit more frequently with my tutorial videos. So I really hope you, you enjoy this one. I really hope you use this technique very well, just not with hair color, but with eye changing color. Uh, I already, already have one with eye changing color, but um, I mean, yeah, eye changing color. I already have one a tutorial. Uh, so you can go back and look at that if you want to see how I do that. But I will go back. I will be making another one just solely on that again. Uh, with a different techniques just showing you different techniques of how to how to use different techniques in this program that's going to still give you the same result you know what i'm saying but it's, there's tons of different techniques that you can use to do the same the same exact thing so this is what i'm pretty much just going to show you i'm going to try to just try trying to broaden out and just show you all the techniques that's uh that's available in, in this in this powerful app in this powerful app of if any photo on the ipad version so like once again if you like my comment consider yourself subscribing and into the next video peace